Hi, this is Dr. Jenny Mitchell, and I want to demonstrate the difference between a report and a dashboard in Power BI. What you see in front of you right now is a report, and you'll notice that I have several pages to this report and that it's interactive, like I can click on uh, the first salesperson here, Nancy Freehofer, or I can pick on Ann Larson and I can see all the data change report or I can just toggle by clicking again to get the full information. Now if I go to page two on my report here you'll see that I've create I actually have some slicers in here so that if I quick click on Nancy Freehofer as an example I see that her top, who her top sales companies are, and also the categories of products that she sold. Now, while I was in there, I noticed that Nancy Freehofer, one of our salespeople, only sold these categories: the baked goods, beverages, candy, canned meat, dairy products, and sauces. Uh, so, if I go back to this report, you see all the list of products. Uh, that ABC Global has to distribute and it's worrisome uh, that she only has three sales company that she sells to and only these six categories so that would definitely be something that I would want to talk to Nancy about but not necessarily have the whole crew of salespeople involved in it uh, so when I go back here, you know, I can see that Nancy's a very good salesperson. She's second in comparison to, um, in fact, she's she's higher in revenue than uh, Ann Lawson. So uh, that'll be something I can correct on my report because I actually thought that Nancy was uh, was a second. So let me go show you what I've created as a dashboard. So let me go back to my workspace. And in my dashboard reports, I've created one that I'm only going to use for Nancy. And you'll notice um, I can correct this information. Uh, and she is not in second place. She is in is first place. and apply it so I can make changes to this dashboard before I uh, change it. And what I've done, a dashboard is just frames that I've pinned from the uh, from um, other reports. So for example in this, what I did, I wanted to have her customers. I wanted her in uh, uh, to have, I did have want to have something in comparison to total so that I could talk to Nancy about it. I wanted to see where her her sales were located here as far as what states were involved. And then this is the part that I'll be talking to her about is why uh, does she only sell the six categories? There may be a reason, but to me, I would think there would be a way that we could increase, um, distribute more products. And so uh, I pulled this picture in. It's really not Nancy, but just so you could kind of make this more personal. And I want you to notice that in a dashboard, we can actually ask how much of something or, you know, like how much, um, let's see, candy revenue in Oregon. So that basically tells me I can ask a, just a simple question and I see that that's how much uh, candy is sold uh, and so I can go back get out of my Q&A and go back to this and so these are just frames this was an image file that I was able to just uh, add a tile and put an image file in uh, I could put a video file in you can put a text file in if I click on this you see the categories I have and so I put a text file in to put this in and then all of these were pinned in so uh, essentially what I mean by that is you pin them in from a report. So it's kind of like as I compared in the uh, when we were talking about the difference, it's like a thesis versus a PowerPoint. You're only going to pick the most important specific things out of that report uh, to put on a PowerPoint. And this is like the, you're only going to pick specific things that you want to talk to to a target audience from uh, a report to a dashboard. Dashboard is not something that she can change, but it is something that we can talk about. So, um, you know, where if you share a report, they can interact with it, they can look at things. Maybe I don't want her to know, um, you know, er everybody else uh, 
what what exactly they're doing or whatever um, and maybe I do but I'm just is just to give you a demonstration of how you might split up the data now let me show you I'll go back to my workspace and I'm gonna go into my report and let's say that we look at this report and this is a report where I was submitted ago and we have page one and two and three and um, you know maybe what I want to do here is I want to um, focus in on candy and so I could click on the candy here and and basically what we see is that uh, we have these you know right here I, I can see that only Nancy and uh, Michael and Jan even sold candy so maybe let me pick a different one here canned meats okay so I have Nancy and Ann both selling canned meats and I can tell I sold it in Oregon uh, if I want to I can pin this to that uh, dashboard so let me just go over here and I'm gonna pin this one although I'm not really I'm just gonna show you so I go pin and notice it I can put it to an existing dashboard and that's what I named that dashboard or I can create a new one so let you know I could just create that new uh, dashboard I'm gonna say cancel now but that's all it is you're pinning data and what what's gonna happen is what you actually see is what you're gonna get what you're gonna pin you're not going to um, you know so maybe I, let me try this so you can see this I'm gonna put it to a new dashboard and I'll just say pin I'll put canned meat maybe our whole thing is on canned meat so what will happen is it's going to pin to a new blank uh, dashboard if I go to that dashboard it's going to show me here in a minute and what you're going to see is just that where canned meat was sold uh, and so that is uh, on there now this is not uh, specifically interactive this is more um, you know just showing that data and what happens is when I click on it when I click on it it goes right back to the report so then I've got this report and I can um, you know re click here it's a toggle and get back the full data if I click on can meet again you immediately see what what happens it just shows me where the meat was sold and now that I have that um, dashboard called can meet which that's a terrible one but you get an idea so this will kind of give you an idea of how to work up a dashboard it's nothing uh, exciting uh, one of the things you may see pop up is that as you're creating a dashboard you can actually create a phone view of your of your data which is really nice so if you want to share it with someone that all they have with them is their phone you'd be able to do so uh, and we haven't done sharing yet, but this will give you an idea of the difference between a report and a dashboard. It's not rocket science. It's just taking reports, pinning specific pieces of information into the frame or onto the canvas of that dashboard. And that really is, is what it's about. So thanks for listening and talk to you soon.